Drake Bell and Josh Peck have had a rocky relationship over the years. The two of them are best known for the television show that they did together, and in turn, people just assumed that they would be friends for life, or at least they would have hoped that to be the case. As the years have gone on, it's been revealed that these two aren't as close as they seemed on their show, and that shouldn't be a surprise given that they were simply acting like brothers and doing their jobs while filming, but it certainly hurt people to hear that their childhood favorites weren't actually friends in real life. Josh didn't invite Drake to his wedding back in 2017, and this is when it became known that him and Drake weren't close because Drake did make it a big deal that he did not get an invitation. They later did reunite and have a moment together, but it just obviously was not the kind of loving friendship people had hoped that they would have maintained with each other. Though people did seem to understand Josh keeping his distance from Drake once he pled guilty back in 2021 to child endangerment charges. With that, he was sentenced to two years probation. A lot of the public was shocked at the time hearing this news and were more understanding of why maybe Josh wasn't really on good terms with Drake, feeling like they just didn't know his character and now they feel like they do given the charges and can see why Josh maybe didn't maintain a friendship with Drake. But now, since the release of the Quiet On Set docuseries that exposes the Nickelodeon work culture experienced by many during the early 2000s, Drake Bell's name has been in the press a lot. And honestly, the switch up on Drake Bell has been very interesting to see as people, after hearing him share his own personal story in the series, have been more willing to support him despite years of people not wanting to shine any light towards him after all that had come out about him. In turn, Josh Peck had received a lot of backlash wondering how much he knew at the time about what Drake revealed on the Quiet On Set docuseries, and people also wanted to know Josh's stance on Dan Schneider. Josh had come out with a statement after people thought that he maybe shaded Drake, but it had later been revealed that he actually reached out to Drake privately, and Drake also made a video saying that the two of them talked and told people not to send Josh any hate. Drake had also opened up more about Josh when he went on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast recently, talking more about Josh getting backlash and their relationship and how Josh was there for him during his hard times in those years back then. Josh worked on The Amanda Show, and so he he saw and knew uh, what was going on. Um, but, you know, I appreciate that he reached out to me privately and, and you know, didn't go straight to the media because... You know, he he's he was there with me and and saw what I was going through, and so. What do you I mean by he saw and knew what was going on? Like he knew specifics? Well, I don't think he knew specifics, but but there were people who you know worked on the show that that knew who uh, you know who it was and things like that, and so I think that when um, he just knew how sensitive this was for me, and after of course watching the documentary, um, he learned of so much that I'd gone through that. Uh, I think that he was just so sensitive and made sure to reach out to me privately rather than just going straight to social media or yeah. something. He overall just seemed really grateful that Josh didn't go to the media before talking to him first in this situation currently and later clarified more about who knew and what they knew in terms of the information that was revealed in Quiet On Set. You're basically saying there were people around that had an idea that you were the, the kid in question that... Yeah, after, after, after the fact. I mean, there were, just like I, you know, say in the documentary, in the courtroom was full for Brian. So, I mean, and Hollywood's so small, so there's a lot of, you know, talk yeah. and things like that. So, um, and there were people that I confided in that I worked with. Um, so it was definitely known that I was, you know, going through a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're saying it didn't get out to the public public, but people kind of yeah. knew. Though nothing Drake revealed in Quiet On Set erases any of his past at all, some are just more willing to hear him out now after they've watched the docuseries and seem to want to support or even defend him, which has been really interesting to see. And he seems to be fully taking the opportunity to do so, as in the last few weeks, it seems he's been trying to repair his public image. Now, there are still those holding everyone accountable online, making sure people who are posting in support of Drake remember the things from his past, and it is important to know what he's personally been accused of, especially now that he seems to want to rewrite history given all this newfound attention that's been on him these last few weeks. And so despite the fact that he pled guilty in 2021, it seems like now he's switching up his stance to the public, basically trying to say that there was false allegations made against him 
and that the only reason why he pled guilty is because he could not financially afford to legally battle the case and was thinking about his family. He talked about this on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast as they talked about Quiet on set and his experience at Nickelodeon and in this is when he opened up about the charges brought against him and what happened which he was now telling a very different story than obviously when he pled guilty. Um, ended up pleading guilty uh, because I, you know, I mean, just financially, I was just devastated and I, uh, I had just had a son and I didn't want to put my family through all of this anymore. And uh, so I ended up going through uh, the process the way that I did and, uh, you know, very regretful and, you know, but I, I I have to take, you know, there's just so much that I've had to deal with and, and, and through that, like I said, not having the tools or not knowing how to process things, you know, I, I, I uh, made a lot of decisions in my life that I shouldn't have made and uh, hurt a lot of people and, um, but now where I am at my, in my life now, I'm, I'm, I think that I'm finally at a place where I can process and deal with this and through therapy that I've been through. He explained to a degree what he pled guilty for, what he had done, what was accused, and what he's saying was and wasn't true. Yeah, I mean, I just, I uh, was, I responded on uh, some DMs and was incredibly irresponsible and, and uh, got myself into conversations that I shouldn't have had. And I ended up finding out that, you know, I was, talking to someone I shouldn't have been talking to. And uh, it snowballed into this, these, these allegations that were not true. And um, it just turned into this big thing. And when I was, in, I was being investigated and, and that was really difficult on my family. And uh, thankfully through 18 months of subpoenaing my social media and phones and computers and uh, witnesses and, and everything, it, it uh, turned out that a lot of, most of what was being accused of me wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And, but I did have, uh, these conversations and so I took responsibility for that and the host Amanda wanted to be clear about what he was saying once more just to be sure as he was saying something that was obviously completely different than what has been originally reported uh the only thing you did you responded to a dm you weren't aware of how old she was yeah and then I finally found out and then I cut communication and then things got I, I think she got upset and mm. He was coming to concerts still and and i was doing everything i could to kind of keep my distance and uh then she made all these allegations of things that happened at a concert but um throughout the investigation i mean there were witnesses who were there the whole time who refuted it and uh people who weren't even connected with me that were friends of hers and her families that were there the whole time and mm. so uh so no and and a lot of the things that she said about message about sending inappropriate pictures and things like this uh mm -hmm. it was able to be investigated and show that that none of that that existed. didn't happen so your only responsibility there was, you would say, like communicating, not knowing how old she was, not doing the due diligence of kind of knowing. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Wow. So don't you want to scream that from the rooftops, though? Because I feel like not enough people really know that. that... Well, I've, I've put out statements on Instagram. I've I've done interviews about it. Uh, the New York Times just uh, did a retraction um, because they had actually printed that I'm uh, that I had to register as an SO and mm -hmm. People have reacted to this just shocked that he was saying what he was, sort of walking back what he pled guilty to and what had been reported about him. Some have not been happy about it calling him out, while others have sent hate towards the girl involved in the case, which has just been awful. So there is a lot going on and a lot being said about Drake. I'm honestly shocked that this is information that he has said publicly that he is walking back this guilty charge. But Drake Bell is a huge conversation right now, and he's only continuing to be a topic of conversation as Quiet On Set has released a new episode of their series this weekend, which he is featured in. It's in addition to the previous episodes and was still filmed at the same time as the others, at least Drake's part, because he says that he didn't sit down for a follow-up interview or anything like that. And at the time of him going on this podcast, he wasn't even sure what the fifth episode was about. About to include but he said that there was a lot of other stuff that he was interviewed about that wasn't included in the other episodes so he theorized that it might be in this additional episode but i guess we'll just have to see but as of right now that's what drake has said since the release i want to know what you guys think about what he had to say on this podcast recently let me know all your thoughts in the comments i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys <laughs>
Thank you.